Heads up, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Retooling the Cubs. Today, we're trying to get that World Series win. We're still trying. Last episode, we did make it to the playoffs, but we did get swept by, if I'm not mistaken, the Dodgers. I really do not remember. It. I'm pretty sure it was the Dodgers, but... I have been playing a lot of Madden 17 trying to get videos out for you guys. So that is why I really haven't been up with this um, MLB series. But I'm back. I'm going to be doing Cubs, Astros, Detroit, Indians. Basically every single team that you guys have wanted me to do and have commented to tell me to do. And um, yeah. So... If you guys want me to do a team, make sure to comment that down below. While you're down there, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So, oh, and also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links down in the description, and you will see them on screen shortly. Anyway, we're still trying to get that World Series win. We got a lot of good players on the bench. So we got Miguel Montero on the bench, Javier Baez on the bench, a bunch of great people that we really don't need. Like, I don't think we really need Miguel Montero because we have Kyle Schwarber and this new guy. So, I think we're going to be looking for a new home for Miguel Montero. I do want to get a new pitcher, so that's what we're going to be trying to go for. But I need some more single A people so guess what I'm doing I'm gonna be signing back some people so I'll be right back once I get all these guys signed up and hopefully we can make a deal for Miguel Montero maybe throwing some other people we have no idea I'm gonna wait a little bit till I see how many good pitchers arise from the um, this year and then I will see who we will be getting for Miguel Montero. I might have to throw in someone else. I have no idea. But um, so far we're looking very good. <laughs> we're looking fantastic. We might not even need to make a deal for a pitcher. Because that's what I am going to be going for. I'm going for a, be a better pitcher to take Tom's spot. But Tom's completely destroying out there. So I don't think we're going to be making a deal... For Miguel Montero because everything is covered. The only thing I can think of is maybe, 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 possibly getting really good relief pitchers. I mean, we got a we got very good relief pitchers with these, but if we could just like lock it down with a bunch of fantastic relief pitchers, oh, we'd be, we'd be insane. We would be a force to be reckoned with. Honestly, these two guys, Will Harris and Luke Gregerson, I mean, they both are above 83, which is very good. So I think I'm going to be going with them. Might as well, be, might as well get rid of Trevor Cahill and Justin Grimm because they both are taking up a lot of money. And then, why not take on Pat Neshek? He's still got some juice left in him. We're giving, we're basically dumping a lot of salary, which is very good for us. I know we really don't need it, but it's always helpful. So, that's, that's good. But look what we have here. We got Will Harris, Luke Gregerson, Jordan Walden, Pedro Stropector, Rondon, Joe Smith, and then Aroldis. Chapman, I'm thinking we move Jordan Walden down here, move up Pat Neshek. This is looking good. This is looking very good. If we do end up winning the World Series this year, I'm very superstitious, knocking on wood. If we do end up winning the World Series this year, then I will just go on to a new franchise to either retool or rebuild. So... Hopefully you guys can understand that, but we got a lot more teams to do. I I did not know that we'd have this many 
like more teams to do. I thought after like maybe the Cubs, maybe one more team, we'd be basically done. But we're not we're not done at all. We still got a few more teams to do. I'm placing all these claims on all these players because I really just want to try and get one of them. I mean, I know it's not meant for that to like happen, but sometimes like sometimes there is a glitch in the system and you actually do get players. Sometimes. I'm not saying it works every single time, but it works sometimes. So let's see if we can get one of them at least. It doesn't look like, yeah, we did not get one of them. That sucks. We are so close, though. We are so close. We're almost at 80 wins in August. If we can get to, we already got to 80 wins. We should well, we should get well over 100 wins. Maybe like, maybe 104, I'm guessing. Maybe, maybe we might not. All right, we definitely got over 100. 104. Oh, 103. If we <laughs> if we just got one more win, if we won that final game, we would have gotten 104 wins on the season. So close. So close. So let's take a look. Jake Arrieta, fantastic year. John Lester, fantastic year. Kyle Hendricks didn't have that. Dece like, he had a decent year. He didn't have, like, a star year that I thought he would have, but he still got over 12 wins. That's a good year for me. Jason Hamill, fantastic player all around the board. And this new guy, I don't... Let's see what Tom was doing. I don't even know why. Add to the playoff roster. Wait, hold up. That's dumb, bro. He should be up here. He's so, he's so good. He should be up here. Why is he in the minors? All right, whatever. Let's see how well everyone did in the lineup. 25 home runs for Jason Hayward. He's not, I mean, he is a contact guy, but that's really good. Addison Russell had a good year. Chris Bryant, 40 home runs. Of course, that's a good year. Anthony Rizzo, 43 home runs. Of course, that's a great year. Kyle Schwarber, only 15. I would think he'd have a little bit more than just 15, but... That's fine. And everyone else did decent. So now we're facing the Mets. I like I feel like this is actually what is going to happen like in October of 2016. I think it's going to be Cubs versus Mets in the NLDS. And I think personally the Cubs are going to win it all this year just by the way that they are looking, but I don't know. A lot of National League teams are looking good. So I have no idea. We already are up 1-0. Oh, we drop it right back down to 1-1. 2-1. And we make it past the NLDS. So we've already gone farther than last year. Let's see if we can do it with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's see. Let's take this. We're already down 0-1. Already down 0-2. This is not working out. All right. 1-2. 2-2. Oh, so close. Come on. Why you got to do this to us? 2-3. Oh, my gosh. 3-3. Three, three. Kyle Kendricks versus Garrett Cole. Come on, Kendricks. Come on, Kyle. Oh, my gosh, Kyle. You did it. Kendricks. Kyle. Kendricks, Kyle. Oh, my God. He did it. Taking on either the Astros or the Indians. We're taking on Cleveland, boys. Another team that we might be retooling. We're taking on Cleveland in the World Series. Already down 0-1, though. Already down 0-2. Oh, God. Already down 0-3. Whew, we get one win. Come on, let's bring it back. Okay, 2-3. Last two games are at home. No, we've been defeated in the World Series by the Indians. So close. That's so close. That's dumb. We should have had that. We should have had that. That's fine, though. We still made it far. I'm proud of the boys. I don't think we'd make it that far, though. Wow. All right, we made it to the World Series, boys. 
That's something to be happy about. Made it to the freaking World Series. I, don't, I do not think I'm going to be re-signing Pat Neshack. He's 37. I mean, the guy's amazing, but we really don't need him anymore. So let me sign the rest of these guys back up, and I will be right back. So close. We almost had it. Oh, man. So close. All right, we signed back everybody except for Jake Arietta because he is on a player option, so he might extend it. Okay, he decided to become a free agent. I don't really like that, but what are you going to do? All right, so we do need to get Jake Arrieta back. I don't want to sign a big contract with him. Like, I'll sign him a three-year deal with him. Nin not basically $19 because he is worth that much. He's, he's a very, very good player. But imagine, just imagine, if the Orioles kept Jake Arrieta. And see where they would be right now. They're, they are probably pissed off that they did not keep him. I'd be too, not going to lie. I'd be super mad if I did not keep him. I think we might want to sign Jose Altuve. This might sound really weird because we do have Ben Zobrist and Javier Baez, but Ben Zobrist is 36. So he's not really going to be in commission much longer. And then, I mean, Javier Baez, he's good. But if we can have a shot at getting Jose Altuve, it's a no-brainer. So we're going to try and attempt to go for him, but we got to cut somebody. And the person I'm thinking of, one of my favorite players on the Rays, but he's just not cutting it anymore. Ben, bro, I love you. I'm sorry if it has been a little bit laggy. I just took a look at the software and a couple of videos just stopped processing. So it um it should be good now, but Ben, like as I was saying, Ben, I love you, bro, but you're 36, 14 million. We we just need the money now. We need the money right now. There's really there's really no other like Thing to say. We just need that money right now. Alright, now we have 65. We should be able to get Jose. Possibly Lance Lynn. Possibly. Lance, you want to come with us for a little bit lower? Oh, snap. We barely just got that. Jake Arrieta went to the Yankees. And then Jake McGee went to the Tigers. Every... Oh my god, what just happened? Screw that, we gotta get Tyson Ross. No, this is what we need to do. I got it. I got it. I know what we're doing. I know exactly what we're doing. We're giving Tyson Ross a good contract. We're giving Lance Lynn a decent contract. And we're gonna be going back for a super good player. We need these guys, though. Tyson Ross, welcome to the team, buddy. Jose Altuve went to the Nationals. Are you serious? How did he go to the Nationals? We had him. All right, we need to sign somebody big. Basically to be in a package deal. I'm thinking Jose Bautista. Everything's falling. Why would nobody want to come to the Cubs? the freaking Cubs. I don't I honestly don't understand this sometimes. All right, come on. Lance Lynn come come with us. Lance Lynn came with the Cubs. Now I just need Jose Bautista to come with us. Come on, Jose. There can't be a better contract out there for you. There we go. Jose Bautista is now with us. That's what I needed. You guys will see what I'm doing in a second. Oh, we're not even in the Rule 5 draft. I can I, I see that. We made it to the World Series last year.
I don't need Orlando right now. I don't need Orlando Arcia. Actually, hold up. He's already got two years. No, I don't, I don't want him. I mean, that might look really weird right now, but I do not need him as of yet. Because I'm thinking of stuff to do. My wheels are turning. So I think I got a good idea of what to do. So come back in the next episode and I will be making a deal to get a good pitcher back. So, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys.